good news if you're looking for a premium German hatchback. One of the best just got better. This is the new fourth generation Audi A3, which promises updated looks, a nicer interior, and more technology inside and out. Let's take a look. So, Audi's intention with this new A3 was to make it look sportier than before. So what they've done is they've made this front grille flatter and wider than before to emphasize the width of the car. And it does look very aggressive, doesn't it? BMW get a lot of stick for their enormous front grilles. Are we gonna let Audi get away with this? Let me know in the comments down below. The other thing they've done is they've removed the chrome outer section around the single frame. This is now body colored, which I think looks pretty cool. These little chicken wings or boomerangs are finished in black on this car, but they're also available in chrome, depending on the spec you get. And down here, it's got a new lower spoiler, which has these vertical elements inspired by motorsport. The kind of thing you get to uh, stop the front spoiler falling off when the car's generating massive downforce, even though this doesn't generate massive downforce. On the outer edges, you've got these huge air intakes, which are huge, but don't intake any air because they're completely fake. But the best thing about this car at the front are the new headlights. So these bad boys are flatter than they were before. Again, to emphasize the width, it's all about width when it comes to design. But the cool thing is they now have 24 individual LED elements and that allows you to customize the way they look. On the MMI screen inside, you can actually choose between up to four different DRL signatures to basically style the car according to how you feel. Check this out. Here's number one, number two, number three, number four, and they all look pretty cool. Totally pointless, but a nice touch. Around the back, not too much has changed. It's kind of a similar story to what we had going on before, but we do get some new rear lights. These are quite fetching, actually. You've got these arrows that point to the left or right, depending on what side you're on, and these animate, uh, depending on what you're doing. They also give you a choice of up to four different DRL patterns, so you can customize the look of the car to how you choose. You also get a new lower bumper, particularly in the diffuser area, which is quite sporty looking. I've also got to give credit to Audi for not installing fake exhaust outlets. Here, they haven't bothered. The exhaust is tucked up underneath and they haven't bothered to try and fake it. On the back, I think it's a nice looking car. Here we are on the interior and Audi has been busy in here. They've added a few little tweaks to freshen up the interior, including these new air vents. The vents themselves aren't new. They still look like the ones you get on the Lamborghini Huracan, which I quite like. But the inlays are now finished in a kind of chrome material, which Audi say emphasizes the width of the interior. It's all about width for Audi when it comes to design. Also on the dashboard, you've got leather up top with contrasting stitching. And then this is new down here, this new material. This is actually cloth, but if you look closely, it's got a kind of carbon fiber-esque finish to it, and it's quite effective in the way it looks. There's also the option of Dynamica, which is a suede or Alcantara-like fabric, which is actually made from recycled polyester, which is quite nice. And then down here on the center console, we've got some new touches here as well. This material around the outside of the center console is gray and it matches the door handles over here, which is quite nice. It ties everything together. And then there's some ambient lighting. So around the center console, that's all lit up. You've got ambient lighting in the cup holders and then more ambient lighting in the doors. These are 300 laser cut holes through which light shines to bathe the cabin in light. Okay, back to the center console. There's more going on here. We've got a flatter gear selector, which is the same gear selector that you'll find on the Audi RS e-tron GT. Not sure why flatter is better, but it brings the A3 closer to some of the other models in Audi's lineup. We've also got two USB ports, a wireless phone charger, two more USBs in the back. And then we've also got some new sound. These speakers come from Sonos. We're in Oman at the moment and um, the local bangers don't bring out the best uh, from the bass, but uh, it actually sounds quite clear and, and quite punchy. So I'm looking forward to hearing that when I connect my phone later on maybe, because this car does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well. One of the biggest updates to this car is the interior technology. Now, Audi were real innovators in the past, particularly when it came to this incredible virtual cockpit, which this car still has, but they 
tended to drag their feet a little bit in later years, but they've started to move with the times now. They now allow you to download third-party apps, things like Alexa to stream your music, etc. It's nice to see the Audi are moving with the times. And finally, let you download apps into the car. What about the engines, Rory? I hear you cry. Don't worry, bro, I got you. So the A3 will come with a variety. Ooh, gas strut. That's nice. That's how you know a car's premium. Lovely. Right, so it's gonna come with a variety of engines, including a 35 TFSI petrol, that's this one, with a 48 volt mild hybrid system and 150 PS with a choice of S-Tronic automatic or manual gearboxes. And there will be a diesel, the 35 TDI, which also has 150 horsepower and the same transmission options. There's also gonna be a full-on plug-in hybrid version coming later in 2024. As for pricing, well, the entry level car will start from around 31,000 euros. This 35 TFSI will go for around 35,000 euros, which works out to be around 30,000 pounds. What do you think? I quite like it, especially in this fetching green color. As always though, you let me know what you think in the comments down below. And as always, I will see you on the next one.